Well, they got it done. The Kansas City Chiefs have Chris Jones back under contract for the 2020 season and beyond. That's pretty incredible. And this is RGR Football. Welcome back. I'm Ryan. This is me going rogue on the Kansas City Chiefs and the NFL. And the Chiefs have been all over the news lately. Uh, I'm doing this. It's kind of late at night. I'm trying to get caught up because I was recording the pod when the news came out. And you guys obviously saw yesterday that my rumors video went up. It was previously scheduled. And quite frankly, I totally forgot it was going to go out. So it, it got up there. And I hate to take a video down once it's gone public. So I just let it roll. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I don't think there's any uh, post tag and trade. I don't think that's the way this is going to go. They wanted him in town. There, He's going to be in town. Um, there are still some of those scenarios that make sense, so check that out. But uh, clearly not the best timing, but hey, it is what it is. Chris Jones gets almost the money that he wants. The Chiefs get the structure that they almost need, and it all fits together so that it can function right now. That's the key. Now, Chris got a little bit less than he was probably looking for in terms of uh, guaranteed fully. Uh, that's 37. On the dot, when he signed, done deal. Not a problem. Uh, the salary for 2022 vests in 2021 is my understanding. So that will take it up to the 60 that we saw was guaranteed, which is 75% of the base salary that is really great. That puts him in good company. You don't see that high of a percentage of guaranteed versus the total uh, unless it's like a two-year deal or less. And so those players that are ahead of him there, they're on small deals. It's not going to be a big deal uh, in terms of uh, being slighted or anything like that. I think it's really interesting that, man, they got almost everything they wanted uh, on both sides. They really worked this out. The big deal for the Chiefs is he's going to play under his new contract at the same cost he was going to be on the franchise tag. So it cost the Chiefs in 2020 no more than it would have anyway, which means they maintain their balance. They have him back. They have Mahomes back. Everything is under their control and under the conditions that they want. The big thing is that Chris has a couple of incentives. He can get to $85 million is my understanding. And at, this is as we know tonight, late on Tuesday, about what the details are. Um, and that there's no bonus. So having that base salary ties you into your cap number. And so every time that that is reaffirmed, which is what the 2021 date does in guaranteeing the next base salary that he's waiting for, that kind of keeps you from having to play the game back and forth. You can convert some of that. There are things that they can do in the future, but I think that's significant and it keeps it kind of a short deal. Uh, four years, I think is about the length that the chiefs were willing to go. I doubt they wanted to go farther than that, but he gets his number. It's not Aaron Donald money and it's not uh, Buckner money. And that's okay. It's $20 million a year. That's a great number. And it puts him right up in there um, in terms of guarantee versus uh, APY, he's up there amongst the top guys, Buckner, Aaron Donald, and Fletcher Cox, who I think I told you guys about on the podcast the other day. I mean, those are the guys that you got to be compared to if you want to be considered the best. And so I think that that really goes to that end to make him uh, put in that company. And that's where he wanted to be. He gets to come back. He immediately was on social media talking about dynasty. And that's, that's what this is about. The way they structured Mahomes and the way that they structured this, they can get it all done in the next couple of years before the numbers get super huge. And there is opt-out clauses. Check out over the cap. Jason does a great job over there, and I've gone through it already, at least from the information we know tonight. And that means that this could be end up being a two-year deal, and if they decide to part ways, they can. That, I think, in and of itself, helps protect the Chiefs from what they might have been concerned about, about a, a, a lull after you get paid. Some players go through that. It seems like Chris is, is really focused on winning and continuing to win with this team, and I think that's really what this is about. So buckle up your helmets. 
2020, 2021 are going to be all out towards getting back and getting another ring. That's what they're talking about. The players are thinking dynasty. The coaches are thinking about making the adjustments to make sure that they're better than they were last season. This is all coming down the pike, and it's all towards a similar particular goal. Now, that said, you can't finish this one. This is going to be a short video just to give you where I'm at reaction-wise. Brett Veach needs more credit than we've been giving him. This offseason has been, in fact, I can't even go into it now. I'll do another video for you probably tomorrow on Brett Veach and how special and how complex this offseason has been to take a Super Bowl champion and make them a contender again, keep them up there at the top. Uh, you got to give him a lot of credit, and there's a lot of rigmarole that goes into this to make sure you can move all those parts around. They're walking the wire with the cap as it is. It's going to be very interesting. I think you should be very happy to have Brett Veach in Kansas City tonight. So, that said, let me know what you guys think. How pumped are you about this contract? Hit the comments below, like and sub, hit the bell. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch you next time.